the experience of hearing a voice in the absence of any speaker is one of the most interesting and intriguing and mysterious aspects of human experience. It's usually been treated as a symptom of psychiatric illness, but in other cultures and in other historical periods, it's been seen as a positive, affirming experience. We were awarded a three-year strategic award in the medical humanities for the project Hearing the Voice, on which I am the principal investigator, and I'm co-directing the project with my colleague, Dr. Angela Woods. We think progress in understanding voice hearing is only gonna happen if we stop reducing it to solely a psychiatric symptom, and instead adopt a range of different disciplinary perspectives in order to try and understand it in its full complexity and nuance. This project wouldn't have been possible without the support of the Wellcome Trust. Genuine interdisciplinarity doesn't just happen overnight. You can't just throw people together in a room every three months and hope that something magical happens. We get together every fortnight, philosophers, neuroscientists, social scientists, literary scholars, theologians, clinicians, and of course, voice hearers themselves. And our ambitions for interdisciplinarity find a perfect home within the Wellcome Trust's developed vision for what the medical humanities can be.